Yo, what's up guys? Boogle is back and this time we got an interesting discussion here and we're going to be talking about the returner mode and is returner mode actually a trap? So with my Battle Cats account being dead, of course I had to restart and a lot of you guys said and mentioned, hey Boogle, why not get the returner mode and skip Empire of Cats completely and get a head start? Well, I did get returner mode on this account too, of course save a lot of time. But in this video, of course, we're going to be diving into what returner mode actually sets you up for and what type of traps it sets up for a player. Now, of course, we gotta first look what is a trap and no, it is not that and no, not that either. I guess trap could be a harsh term for this. Maybe a trick would be more fitting. Now, you must be wondering, Boogle, how the hell is returner mode a trap or a trick? What is going on here? How did you come to this conclusion? Well, it's very simple how I came to this conclusion. Take a look at it this way. So, yes, there is the benefit of skipping Empire of Cats Chapter 3 completely, which does save a good chunk of time, but in turn, look at what you're getting as well. So for one dollar, you get to skip Empire of Cats completely, chapter one, two, and three, you get all the superior treasures, and you get Bahamut, Valkyrie, and of course all the basic cats at level 20. You get a grand total of one rare ticket, and a massive grand total of 10 normal tickets, yes. So some of you might automatically already know what the problem here is. Yes, the time for money value here is pretty high. I mean, Empire of Cats, one, two, three, all superior treasures. That is a pretty good deal for 99 cents or a dollar. But the issue here is what you get with it. You only get 10 normal tickets and the rare ticket isn't even relevant here, but you only get one. And your basic cats are only at level 20. Now to those smart people who already got the idea, yes, what this does is sets you up for the stuck cycle. If you don't know what the stuck cycle is, I explained it in the full version of the mid-game guide. You could go check that out if you haven't seen that already. But this pack is basically setting you up for the stuck cycle. Now if you're like me and you've gone through Battle Cats countless of times, you've restarted countless of times, you've gone through the game many times, you won't be stuck at all really because you'll know what to do, you'll know how to get around this problem. But for the newer players this is a big big issue because 10 normal tickets is not enough for anything. Just going through Empire of Cats 1 to 3, you could reach true forms in that time span, depending on how long you take. But at least you're going to have like plus 5s or plus 3 minimum on all of your basics when you exit Empire of Cats 3. Now of course another issue here is the people who mostly buy this pack are sometimes going to be new players, which is a very big issue because this is of course not meant for new players it is called the returner mode and empire of cats is the tutorial of the game and if you skip that tutorial of the game there's going to be lots of problems and if you don't understand what i mean basically what empire of cats does is in a very repetitive way it lets you know the basic game mechanics of this game so learning how to manage your money properly, learning how to meet shield, learning how to use ranged cats in different situations, learning how to use cats that have special abilities or certain amount of stats to counter enemy units, stuff like using a whale against the one horn in chapter 2. All of this very basic building of knowledge is going to be gone and you're just going to be skipped past it and you're going to be put in this position where all of your cats are very low leveled, you only have 10 normal tickets and barely anything to progress too far. So yes, if you're a new player, I highly recommend avoiding this. The only way I would see getting this pack is a good thing is if you're doing like a speedrun or something of the game. If you get this pack just because you don't want to go through Empire of Cats, you got to keep in mind that you're going to be set back pretty far. So you need to put in the grind to get back up to where you would be if you did go through these 
three chapters. Because if you don't, of course, you're gonna enter the stuck cycle, and that's not a fun place to be at. That's where a lot of people actually quit Battle Cats in the stuck cycle. So yes, for the sake of time, and just because I've gone through this game and I know how to get out of this stuck cycle and how to avoid it, of course, I just went with the returner mode on my new account and we basically are at a point right here. The most recent gameplay I could get for my current account right now is what you're seeing right now. And yeah, we're slowly making our way back. But if you're new or you're completely new and you like just downloaded Battle Cats, I highly recommend avoiding returner mode because it will set you up for a trap unless you're prepared. Yes, it may be extremely boring and time-consuming going through Empire of Cats, but this is where you build the basic knowledge of the game, and throughout going through Empire of Cats, you're gonna build up a lot more XP, cat tickets, and everything else, naturally, without having to grind any cat tickets or anything like that. So yeah, it is basically, at the end of the day, it is your choice, but just keep in mind, what you are getting into and what could possibly happen for the future. Because 2021 Battle Cats players, they don't know how to grind cat tickets. They out here at UL with plus 10 eraser and stuff like that. So yeah, be wary of the returner mode. Be wary of the stuck cycle. Grind cat tickets. What is with all these players not grinding cat tickets anymore? It's crucial, crucial part of the game. So yeah, don't ignore cat tickets, do get those, they are very important, especially for the end game when you're farming rare tickets. But wait, hold on just a minute, there's something else here that snuck right past everyone who got this pack. Not only do we have to look at this in a game sense way, but we gotta look at the business aspect as well. What is Pono's trying to do here? So, when you do get this returner mode pack, it is not very hard to see that they intentionally put you at a pretty low level here where you have no room to progress pretty far. So what this does, you've already put in the incentive to buy the returner mode and spend money on the game. So that gateway is already open and they've basically almost caught you here because the hardest part is trying to build up that incentive to actually make a purchase, while the returner mode is the big gateway for some people. So you're gonna be at this point at Empire of Cats 3 with extremely low levels, barely any XP, barely any user rank, and no room really to progress too far. And when you get stuck, when you eventually get stuck, because it will happen unless you know how to avoid the stuck cycle, hmm, there is a pack for sale that gives you 4,000 cat food, so much cat tickets, so many cat fruits, so much XP. Hmm, it's almost like they know that you're in the stuck cycle and hey, you are already setting yourself up for this. So hey, why not just spend extra and get the stuff that you need? You know, you need those cat levels, you need those XPs, you need those cat fruits. You already spent money on returner mode. Why not just do it again right here and get caught up? So yes, not only is returner mode a trap or a trick in the game, getting you into the stuck cycle and getting you set back pretty far, but it is also a gateway for the incentive to purchase more items and stuff in the future. So while it may be very good in value, it is a very smart business move from Ponos here. So in the end, is returner mode a trap? Yes and no. It really depends on who you are, if you're a new player or if you're actually a returning player, if you're a veteran, all I can really say is to the people who buy this pack, be careful to not get stuck in the stuck cycle and how you avoid it, of course, grinding cat tickets. That is the best way to get out of the stuck cycle and I don't know what is with these 2021 Battle Cats players out here with plus two basic cats and plus 10 wall cat at UL. Grinding cat tickets is a very important part of the game, not only for the beginning, but for the end game as well. I don't know, maybe I'll make a whole updated guide video or a new video of the importance of 
grinding cat tickets, how to grind them efficiently, how to grind rare cat tickets, because yes, that is a part of endgame, grinding rare cat tickets, yes, it is very possible. But yeah, that was a look at returner mode and what it could do, is it a trap, is it valuable, what is returner mode really? Let me guys know what you think of Returner Mode in the comments below, of course. Drop a like if you enjoy this video, subscribe if you're new, join the hashtag Google Gang. Go join my Discord, link in the description below. It'll be active invite for one week, maybe. There's a pretty massive event going on right now in my Discord, so don't miss out on that. Lots of Nitro and special rewards to be obtained, but yeah. It's been John Boogle and Returner Mode. See ya.